Thank you for watching Blacksit. Please subscribe to our channel Blacksit. Smash that like button and share everywhere. Blacksit family, Blacksit family, Blacksit family. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, listen, if you're new to the channel and you don't know who this lady is, I'm Juliet, and my African name is Nyancho Mandina Kujabe. All right. And this is the Black Sit <laughs> channel, and that's dedicated to your coming home. That's right. Mm -hmm. Leave the best for the West and come home. All right. Okay. And today we're going to be talking about the best food for your heart, your spirit, and your soul. <laughs> so when you come to Africa, one of the benefits of being here is some of the experts that you meet here. And let me tell you, I met this beautiful couple in London, yes. wow. in Tottenham, mm -hmm. at four, an event. Four years ago. Four <laughs> years ago. Right. And exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hand over the mic to you both, and I'm going to ask you both to please introduce yourself in traditional style to the Blacksit family for me. And I just want to say thank you mm -hmm. for having me in your beautiful home. Thank and you. for welcoming us here and giving us some of your really healthy concoctions already, I feel better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, let's 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 go. I mean, introduce um, yourselves. And well, first of all, I'd like to thank you, Blacksit family. I'd like to thank all of your supporters for helping get this information out to the world. You have an incredible representative, and we are so blessed to have her in our home stir rot. Now, my name is Dr. Gregory Joe Bledsoe, affectionately known as Dr. Joe. And my lovely wife here, uh, Mama Nasser Ajila, we're both from San Francisco, United States of America, and we've been in the Gambia for four years. Wow. Now, we've written three books on health and nutrition. We have one, which is uh, the bestseller for general public, number one in the UK. And the other wow. is number one in Amazon, and this one is for people of color or melanated people. Can we just take some pictures? Absolutely. Thank you. So everybody, have a have a good look. Have and a close up look. The, and this one is the kitchen companion. I thought this was because it's our original. We mm -hmm. put the recipes here, okay. and then after we retired, we decided to expand the information. Okay, and the one that I bought in England was actually the yellow one. Ah, that's the one that I have there. <laughs> Which one? Yeah, tasty, spicy, ah, spicy, spicy, tasty, tasty vegan. Yes, and ah. it's really good. Anyone who wants to buy it, it's not just about food. But you know, I'm not even going to discuss it because I'm not the expert here. <laughs> I am not the expert here. But I tell you what, I do love is food. <laughs> good, healthy, spicy, tasty, tasty vegan. vegan. Food. food and I've had their spicy tasty vegan food and it is absolutely delicious if I had had the footage of the um, Kwanzaa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where you did the catering for which was amazing the food oh, was so delicious we had a great time. yeah I am a Hastings Law School graduate a former teacher and educator for over 30 years I've received the steps for peace award and I'm a producer and performer of positive lyrical music, mind-moving motivational music, vegan for 28 years. And since we've been in the Gambia with my lovely wife, I can simply say that I have been pleased to know that I've been with what they consider the best vegan chef on the planet. And of wow. course I concur, and that's my lovely wife, <laughs> Mama Nasira, and she'll introduce herself. Hi, I am so honored to be on Black Sick with this lovely, <laughs> beautiful woman, Juliet. No, in that name, I'm gonna have to. Nyancho. 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 Mandina Kajobi. Mandina Kajobi. Kajobi. If I was American, I would say Kajabi. Yes. Oh. Okay. So, but no, yeah. we want the original accent. Right. Because we didn't learn all the sounds because we didn't use them in America. It's true. <laughs> it's true. And, and, and if I was to say, because uh, in, in how it's supposed to be is Nyancho. 
Nyancho. Nyancho, Mandina. Mandina. Kojabi. Kojabi. Yeah. Wow, it's okay. beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you Thank for you. giving us new accent pronunciation so that they can help us with other languages. Absolutely. Yes, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm Nasira Ajila, known as Mama Nasira. Living in the Gambia four years. I'm originally from the USA in America. Born in San Francisco, California. My lovely husband is the reason I'm doing this because I got sick at the age of 19 with hepatitis B. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a phlebotomist and I got stuck with this needle and the doctor said I was going to have to eat the way my mother raised me because I learned that I wasn't fed the way I was supposed to be fed for my body type. So I had to start from ground zero at the age of 19 in 1973. And I taught myself from my mother's food to learn how to eat healthier. And I reduced the meat and used more vitamins. Um, I used more um, spices and herbs. And that also helped with my healing. And I just learned more and more how to take care of myself. I have three sons, lovely sons that are very healthy. I'm a mother, um, um, as well as I've been married three times, and this is the husband that has supported me 100%. Third time lucky. Job, third time. <laughs> and That's right. I have been a vegan for 18 years. Wow. And I have been working on healing for 30 years. Wow. I'm a um, vegan chef, health advocate, entrepreneur, trained over 35 intern vegan chefs in the Gambia. And not just Gambia, I've had Sierra Leoneans, I've had Nigerians that I've trained, I've trained U.S. Um, people, people from the USA. And it's just really been incredible that I'm meeting so many people in training. Um, and I incurred, I, 47 years, is I've had to stay on a strict diet to stay alive mm -hmm. for 66 years, so I give thanks. I really want to ask you about, you know, obviously about healing and the motivation towards how you're able to heal people and why you wrote these books. Okay, we, it took us 20, 27 months to write the books, and that was with no TV and no no doorbell. No door. Mm -hmm. And our motivation behind it is that our people in America are dying. Um, we have several sources of uh, killing them. <laughs> we have the water, and a lot of people are drinking water out of lead and pipes, and we know what that does to the brain. We have um, chemtrails, as they call it, or um, geoengineering, where they are dropping things down on them, like titanium, aluminum, and other things. It's falling down into the soil, and when it hits the soil, uh, the soil is depleted. So it's not as strong as the Gambian soil, exactly. which is the best soil in the world. Um, also the food. About 55 years ago, we started getting a real assault on us in terms of food where a lot of us came from the farm area, moved into the urban area, and started eating food that they said was good for us. And over time, we got more sugar, more salt, more fat, all of those things that our, the scientists knew, when we consume them, it goes into our endorphins and our pleasure center, and it makes us smile. That's why a lot of people eat the junk food, and all junk food has those three things in it, sugar, fat and grease. We also wanted to address the type of food that we eat and to give information so that our people could live longer. That's why we wrote the book. Now while we was writing the book we started off as my wife said with the nutritional guide which was our book and then we started asking ourselves what questions do our people need to know. And so before we knew it, we ended up with a melanated book or a book for people of color. And that's because there are so many different physiological uh, differences between melanated and yep. uh, those that are melanated recessive. We can, so if you take a European 
um, your bones would be 10 times denser or stronger than the European woman's. So that means your hemoglobin level is going to be different. <laughs> You have more selenium in your melanin cells, yes. or they have more sulfur. That is why when they get wet, they give off that certain smell, smell or odor. The other differences, like we have more veins, you know, more extensive yeah. uh, mm -hmm. external system here, where we mm -hmm. have more veins and arteries. Uh, veins which allow, mixed with the melanin, mm -hmm. our connection with our nerves, we're able to get messages to our brain a lot faster. Yeah. It's called a muscle response. But if it's clogged up with the wrong kind of eating of the food, it is not going to happen. And what's really important is that Europeans have more worms or parasites to break down their food or metabolize it, where we don't have that. That's why it's very important that we eat food that supports our body and not someone else's. I not only took care of myself, I took care of all of my friends throughout in my 20s, the children, and a lot of people would get sick. And that's because they were eating in different restaurants. Um, I didn't eat in restaurants because of the grease and the oils. Um, I had an opportunity to, um, when people uh, had their children back in the 80s, a lot of the parents, um, they were having you know challenges, especially on crack cocaine and different things like that. Yeah. And because I had food every day for my children, I was feeding those children. Oh. So I have been so blessed, you know, to be able to help so many people um, in my 40s. After my children got older, I gone back to college and I connected after my divorce from my children's um, father 18 years. Um, some of my friends in their 40s, they were having a lot of health issues. Yeah. So I was working as a library technician. So I um, needed to make extra money because I bought a new car <laughs> and I had to pay rent. So I, I prepared food to help my friends by making African stew, cornbread, I'll make um, wild rice, quinoa, you know, all the spices. And it was actually detox them. And just about anyone who eat this food, guess what? They all lose 10 pounds. Wow. And it's up to them to take it from there. That's all I'm supposed to do is introduce this. That's when my husband said we're going out of business. <laughs> we're in, in business, business to go, to go out, out, of out of business. Because after we do what we're doing here, then it's time for us to do something else. Yeah. Now, I, I'd like to interject that, you know, our belief, the reason why we're doing this is because we believe in America, with all the suffering that's going on, the only way we're really truly going to help to alleviate that is to strengthen Africa. Mm -hmm. Because here you have the resources. Shoot, some of these, some of our workers that are here are trainees. They're a lot stronger than I am. Hello! <laughs> uh, and you have the genius. The only challenge we find is that you've been eating the wrong type of food that does not support your body and your brain. Uh, so we also believe that when you eat better, you're going to think better. Absolutely. And when you think better, you're going to make better life choices. Those choices are going to reflect upon your family, your community, your tribe, your nation, and ultimately the world. And since we've got to live on this planet together, I see this as a wonderful vehicle for making that happen. So how would uh, one go about purchasing a book or accessing these books? And our home for sale, and mm -hmm. they also can be purchased in 10 Book 2 here in the Gambia. As well as you can go on Amazon. Um, usually the folks in uh, the UK and America, um, it's a lot easier for them to go on to Amazon. And in America, uh, you can yeah. order the book at any bookstore. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yes, and that's why in any city or country we live, we can also um, bring them to that store. Yes. Of one nation, one Africa. Thank you, Black Sit family. Please keep watching, please subscribing, and remember, follow your dreams. Purchase your tracks today. Purchase your tracks today.